Okay, this is, uh, we're in Kuwait, and this is our early teen Sabbath school. We're just really excited to be here today, and I'm going to be inter interviewing all of these handsome, young, and beautiful young uh, early teens. And first of all, I'm going to talk to their leader. They call her Auntie Sherlin, and I have learned to like her a whole lot. She loves kids. She's like a kid magnet. They all love her, and uh, I li I'm going to ask her a question. Okay, Sherilyn, what do you like about early teens? Oh my goodness, what don't I like about them? Uh, okay, I can answer that too. <laughs> what I like about them is that they, at this age, they seem to be very enthusiastic about life and they have like a completely new, a refreshing take on um, different views and I just like being with them because it makes me feel a little uh, enthusiastic myself. Yes, yeah. I can really concur with that. I like kids too, and we appreciate everything that you do here in the early teens. And in fact, it was this particular class that asked a question that got me here. So we really appreciate their, their interest. What's your name? Michelle. Michelle, where are you from originally? Um, Virginia. Virginia, you're from the United States. Yeah. What are you doing here? Um, my mom got a job here. Awesome, that's great. Well, we're glad that you're here. How old are you? 16. 16, and she's here in Kuwait in Sabbath school. Yay. What's your name? Freddie. Excuse me? Freddie. 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 <laughs> Sorry, Freddie, the ears are the first to go, you know, when you get old. Uh, so are you are you and this beautiful young woman brother and sister? We're twins. You're twins. How cool. I have twins too. But my twins are boy twins. Except they're not boys anymore. They're young men. They're uh -huh. 34 years old. So Freddie, what do you like to do in your spare time? Play basketball. Play basketball. And what can you tell us about friends? What do you think would make a good friend? Um, somebody who is, somebody you can trust. And, yeah. Somebody you can trust. That's a good answer. Tell me about your, your best friend. Um, my best friend lives in Virginia and we're like a lot alike. So that's why my best friend. Okay. Thanks, Fred. Good morning. What is your name? Rebecca. Rebecca. Okay, how old are you? I'm 14 years old. And you know, Rebecca, you had the mission story this morning for the Adult Sabbath School, and you did such a great job. I thought that was a wonderful story. What impressed you about that story? That she wanted to learn more about God after a, a good experience, after what had God done for her. Yeah. So that made her come closer to God. You think that she thought God was her friend? Yes. Here she was, stuck out in the middle of a lonely street in Tokyo in the middle of the night, didn't know where to turn, and so she turned to God. So, you know, maybe we could say something about God as a friend. What, what would you say about God as a friend? A God is a friend who you can turn to anytime you want and who would never leave your side. She, he, would always, uh, he would always be next to you and guide you and protect you. Yeah, awesome. Thanks. Oh, I want to ask you one more question. Have you ever read our electronic magazine called Visionary? Yes. One of them said about heaven and it described it really well. Mm. And uh, it showed how heaven is really a great place to go and our final destination is wonderful. Yeah, I'm so glad you read it. You know, here you are way over here in Kuwait and you got online and you accessed our Visionary magazine. That makes us happy. Good morning. What's your name? Joshua. Joshua. Oh, okay. I won't stumble over that one. That's a good biblical name. Not that your name isn't beautiful. It is. I just stumbled over it with my American tongue here a little bit. And uh, tell me about your best friend. My best friend lives in Kuwait. His name is Charles. Mm. And I like him a lot because he really sticks around me and we share all our secrets together and he's really like a true friend. How would you compare your best friend with Jesus as a friend? Ooh, hard question. <laughs> no, actually, Jesus is really a person you can trust, who you can tell anything to. But sometimes, friends, you can't tell every single thing. Ah. And Jesus, Jesus, I don't know how to explain it in words, but he is uh, really a true friend. Amen. I like that answer. Good morning. Morning. What is your name? Sanjay. Sanjay? Yeah. Okay, Sanjay. Well, how old are you? I'm 20 years old. What do you like about living in Kuwait? Well, 
It's fun. Friends live close. You know, we can play there. That. Do you have any friends here in Kuwait? Yeah, mostly. All from school. So. Oh, your, your your friends are from school. Yeah. What do you like about your friends? Well, they they're all Indian, so we can get really close to them. Okay. Do you go to an Indian school? Is yeah. Is that why they're all Indian? Yeah, okay. Uh huh. And what else can you tell me about your friends? What do you like to do together? Well, we play basketball most of the time, video okay. games, you know, okay. so uh -huh. it's really good. Is Jesus your friend? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Why? Why is Jesus your friend? Well, he really loves us, so I know that's like, the main thing. Okay. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. What is your name? My name is Roland. Roland. Yeah. Now, you know, Roland, I already know something about you because I think you know something about technology, right? Yeah. And uh, you, you were down there kind of running the tech stuff. I think that's awesome that you're already an important part of your local church. That's great. So, Roland, how old are you? I'm 15. You're 15 years old, okay. And uh, what do you like about living in Kuwait? Well, uh, you get to know more people and it's easier to travel over here because okay. the buses and all, they are free and all that stuff. So. Okay, what can you tell me about friends, Roland? What, you, what can you say about friends? Friends are really a person who you can trust in time of, somewhat in time of trouble. Okay. Like, uh, they help you in most of stuff. All right. Tell me about your best friend. My best friend, uh, he's, he has mostly the likes, like all these people said, and they, they help us a lot. And he's like a more helpful person, you know. Okay. So, how would you compare... Friends and Jesus. Jesus uh, is a person who you can like trust a lot. Like, you know, he's not going to give out any secrets anytime. So, yeah, awesome. Okay, good morning. Hi. What's your name? I'm Rika. Rika? Yeah, Rika. And where are you from originally? I'm from the Philippines. Okay, and now you're living in Kuwait. Yeah. Do you have any friends here? Yes. My church friends, my school friends. Awesome. What do you like about your friends? I don't know. They're fun. They're fun to be with. Um, they're fun to hang out with. Nice. Is Jesus your friend? Yes. Why? My very best friend. I can talk to him like when I have problems, or I can tell him my deepest secrets, and you know. So, yeah, he's my best friend. And how do you how do you spend time with him? What what do you do to get to know Jesus? How do you, how do you know that like he's with you and stuff? Like when I have problems and then I talk to him and then after a while I feel you know comforted. I know that he's there with me and stuff like that. Okay. How else do you get to know him? Through Sabbath school. Yeah, <laughs> through Sabbath school. Yay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay.